Okay. Yo, this is Archangel in here. I may or may not have two little munchkins behind me who shouldn't be messing with my weight. Yeah, like I lift. All right, loading in. Hey, we're gonna play some Ratchet and Clank. We're gonna go through the entire frill. Shush, remember what I said about being quiet? Be sure to stay here and watch. You guys, come over here and say hi. Right Final here. step. Attach robotic ignition system. Actually, more Thank right. you for using help desk technology. All right, there's one. And there's two. Faith. Oh. Yep, this is the birth of Clank. It is a lot like the movie I had you guys watch a couple days ago. This is the original, long before the movie and the remake was made. No nefarious here. Ooh. He saw something he shouldn't have. Approaching planet Belden. Oh, I like the new recording device. It's a uh, hop up of it. Yeah, I can't say that. It's... And that, guys, that is wrap. And that is a robot in distress. Welcome to the Gadgetron Office. We are here to offer you advice during your interplanetary travels. The help desk is the first service provided by Gadgetron Corporation. Guys, really? Don't mess with my chair. Hopefully, by the time I finish this series, I will have got a PS5 to do the new one. Nah, that's just a good one. I'm going to go save the robot. Yeah. Definitely not going to see if there's any money to be made. Harvesting the robot. Good guy. Uh, you want to go for me? That's good. You can interrupt. Uh, Gadgetron's OmniRange 8000 Okay, what have I told you about me on my back end, Faith? Use the R1 button to crouch, and then press the square button. What, what do you want? Are you looking at yourself in the camera? That's nano. What did I say about the quiet Let Gadgetron's patented nano health system rebuild your body from the inside out. I can't hear you. 
Interesting. You're quite handy with your wrench. I need to turn on. Z you bet. I built that ship with it. Uh, sorry. Hmm. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Hello, citizens of. My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Dreck, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas. But, of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... We're still on? Look, turn it off, you idiot! The people on those planets are hosed. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this infobot, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Deal. And we fly and fly and fly. This could be a problem. Take care of it. Whoa, this is great! So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you could stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is B54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on. So you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous. I will not stand for this. Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a You're sweat, you, you no. puny. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. 
This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. Entering atmosphere and planet the fire. Oh, oh. Oh, my ship blew up. Where are you? <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the. <laughs> Hello, look, plumber's Almighty crack. Plumber. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking. The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this goddarn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. Slide down a sewer pipe? 
Mayday, Mayday! This is the solar ship Radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close! Ah! Pipe down, I can't concentrate. Oh, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long! Kid, let's am scream! Eject! Eject! Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. <laughs> I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. Gadgetron Infobots give you coordinates for new planets. Now that you have the Infobot for Planet Iridium, you'll need to find a ship to get there. All right, buddy. Go upstairs. To enter look around mode, press and hold the L1 button.
Hi there, fuzzball. Why was that there again? are you? Mercenaries? Torturers? Assassins? I I'll tell you anything. Here, take my infobot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on. Let's see what he's got. Has this ever happened to you? Hi, I'm Captain Quark. And believe me, there's nothing worse than stirring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside, and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee-high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? Pickles are delicious. You said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime, or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's Robo Shack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's RoboShack, it's Quarktastic! Do you know what this means? Yeah, 
Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. Uh, what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, as planetary chairman, I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. Now that you have coordinates to two new planets, you can... Video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.